Krishna 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 hey Krishna 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 Om namo bhagavate vasudevaya Om namo Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Sarabhyay Namaha Om Sarabhyay Namaha Om Sarabhyay Namaha Mukam karoti vachanam pangum langayate grim yatkripa tamaham bande sri gurum dinataranam yatkripa tamaham bande sri gurum dinataranam Hare Krishna Welcome to our Bhagavatam class <coughs> We continue from canto number four Chapter 20, <clears throat> which is entitled Lord Vishnu, <clears throat> Lord Vishnu's appearance in the sacrificial arena. <clears throat> Yesterday we did 17, yes, so text number 18. <clears throat> Prishantam Padayahu Premna Vriditam Svena Karmana Sata Kratum Parisvajya Vid Vesham Visasarja Ha Sprishantam Padayo Premna Sprishantam Padayo Premna Viditam Svena Karmana Viditam Svena Karmana Shata Kratum Parishvaja Shata Kratum Vidvesham Visasarjaha Vidvesham Visasarjaha Sprishantam Padayo Primna Sprishantam Padayo Primna Vriditam Svena Karmana Vriditam Svena Karmana Shata Kratum Parishvaja Shata Kratum Parishvaja Vidvesham Visasarjaha Sarjaha Vidvesham Visasarjaha Sprishantam Padayo Premna Sprishantam Padayo Premna Vriditam Svena Karmana Vriditam Svena Karmana Shata Kratum Parishvaja Shata Kratum Parishvaja Vidvesham Visasarjaha Vidvesham Visasarjaha Prishantam Padayo Premna Prishantam Padayo Premna Viditam Svena Karmana Viditam Svena Karmana Shatakratum Parishvaja Shatakratum Parishvaja Vidvesham Visasarjaha Vidvesham Visasarjaha Prishantam Padayo Premna Prishantam Padayo Premna Vriditam Svena Karmana Shatakratum Parishadja Shatakratum Parishvaja Vidvesham Visasarjaha Vidvesham Visasarjaha Sprishantam 
touching. Padayoho. The feet. Premna. In ecstasy. Virditam. Ashamed. Svena. His own. Karmana. By activities. Shata Kratum, Kratum. King Indra, Indra. Parishvajya, Embracing, Embracing. Vid Vesham, Vesham. Envy, Envy. Visasarja, Gave, Gave up, Ha, ha. Of, course. of course. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Sri La Prabhupada Ki. As King Indra was standing by, he became ashamed of his own activities and fell down before King Prithu to touch his lotus feet. But Prithu Maharaj immediately embraced him in great ecstasy and gave up all envy against him for his having stolen the horse meant for the sacrifice. Can you repeat after me? As King Indra, As King Indra was, standing by, was standing by, he became ashamed, he became ashamed of, his activities, of his activities and fell down before King Prithu to touch his lotus feet. But Prithu Maharaj, but Prithu Maharaj immediately, embraced him immediately embraced him in great ecstasy and gave up all envy against him for his having stolen the horse meant for the sacrifice. Mm. Purport. There are, there are many cases in which a person becomes an offender to the lotus feet of a Vaishnava and later becomes repentant. Here also we find that although the king of heaven, Indra, was so powerful mm, that he accompanied Lord Vishnu, he felt himself a great offender for stealing Prithu Maharaja's horse that was meant for sacrifice. An offender at the lotus feet of a Vaishnava is never excused by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. There are many instances illustrating this fact Ambarish Maharaj was offended by Durvasamuni, a great sage and mystic yogi. And Durvasa also had to fall at the lotus feet of Ambarish Maharaj. Indra decided to fall down at the lotus feet of King Prithu. But the king was so magnanimous a Vaishnav, that he did not want Maharaj Indra to fall down at his feet. Instead, King Prithu immediately picked him up and embraced him, and both of them forgot all the past incidents. Both King Indra and Maharaj Prithu were envious and angry with each other. But since both of them were Vaishnavas or servants of Lord Vishnu, it was their duty to adjust the cause of their envy. This is also a first class example of cooperative behavior between Vaishnavas. In the present days, however, because people are not Vaishnavas, they fight perpetually among one another 
and are vanquished without finishing the mission of human life. There is a great need to propagate the Krishna consciousness movement in the world so that even though people sometimes become angry and malicious toward one another because of their being Krishna conscious, such rivalry, competition, and envy can be adjusted without difficulty. Translation again. As King Indra was standing by, he became ashamed of his own activities and fell down before King Prithu to touch his lotus feet. But Prithu Maharaj immediately embraced him in great ecstasy and gave up all envy against him for his having stolen the horse meant for sacrifice. One of the very important subject matters which is recurring uh, very often in the pages of the Bhagavatam and which is very basic and essential for all of us who are practicing devotees, uh, the subject matter of uh, dealings amongst devotees. <clears throat> so we see in this example that even great, very great personalities, King Indra is not an ordinary person, <laughs> and Prithi Maharaj, is Shakta <laughs> uh, So even great exalt, exalted personalities, sometimes they may have some differences. Uh, what to speak of those who are maybe uh, not on that high level. <clears throat> However, uh, those who are fortunate to be uh, devotees, I mean, King Indra, although not a pure devotee, he's a devotee. Prabhupada refers to him as Vaishnava, anyone who is believing and offering prayers to Lord Vishnu. Uh, Vaishnava means those who are followers of Lord Vishnu. They are all exalted personalities. But because we are here in the material world, we stumble, we uh, get sometimes influenced, or we come under the influence of the modes of material nature. Uh, <clears throat> and the important lesson here is that. <clears throat> Devotees need to uh, learn how how to resolve such differences that may be there. Um, Important point also made here is that if one offends the Vaishnava, uh, even the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna Himself will not be forgiving that individual. He must seek forgiveness from the person one has offended. We must seek forgiveness from the person that we have offended directly. It is one of the... It is actually the first... 
to blaspheme devotees of the Lord who dedicated their lives for propagating the glories of the Holy Name. The first of the ten offenses which are actually preventing us from ultimately becoming freed or liberated from this material world. And that is why those who are advanced devotees are always extremely cautious in their dealings with others, especially in their dealings with other Vaishnavas. <clears throat> and will avoid uh, verbally criticizing others, even will avoid mentally uh, <clears throat> becoming envious of others or will avoid carrying any kind of ill feeling. This is uh, a general tendency. People carry um, you know a hatred in their heart right up to the grave <laughs> very often. And uh, that means that actually we, we cannot be liberated. Uh, even we see in the last pastimes of our own founder, Charya Srila Prabhupada, when he was receiving some of his god brothers, you know, in the last weeks of his <clears throat> physical presence, he was very weak uh, <clears throat> and <clears throat> he had this, he had actually at one point uh, told the devotees uh, where his samadhi should be. You know, Prabhupada was understanding that he was in his last days with us. So he was seeing various devotees and in particular, met with various of his godbrothers. And in a very humble mood, he would uh, express <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> or seek their forgiveness for any offenses he might have made to them, explaining that actually in preaching, sometimes we have to be <laughs> somewhat forceful. And of course, none of the uh, God brothers present uh, took any offense. Rather, they expressed, uh, maybe we have offended you. <laughs> this is the mentality. Uh, <clears throat> because if we... Uh, offend uh, any living entity, especially exalted personalities who are devotees or practicing Krishna consciousness, then Krishna becomes uh, <clears throat> displeased by such uh, behavior um, and, and we cannot receive the favor or the mercy of, of Krishna. <clears throat> Vaishnavas are uh, very, very dear to the Lord. <clears throat> All living entities ultimately are very dear to the Lord because they are created by Him. Uh, so this uh, is one nice example of <clears throat> what are meant to be the proper proper behavior and proper dealings amongst um, amongst devotees. Uh, the more we are focused on uh, nicely exe executing or practicing Krishna consciousness. <clears throat> then uh, 
the better chances are that we have a good relationship with others. <clears throat> and it makes, uh, just like Prabhupada would say, <clears throat> uh, that if, if you put uh, a bunch of dogs together because they are totally, comp you know, animals are totally on the bodily platform, they'll fight. <laughs> So the more one is on the bodily platform, <clears throat> then the more the egos will clash. <laughs> and therefore, practicing Krishna consciousness means learning to rise above the bodily platform. If actually, not only, that's the test actually, not only theoretically knowing, <laughs> We read every day, we're not this body, ahamramasmi. We hear all of these instructions, but then every day situations are created where this, this knowledge is put to test. And we can understand how, <clears throat> how well we have understood these instructions if we pass the test or don't pass the test. Our temples, especially, uh, and our different communities, um, are meant to demonstrate this type of very um, <clears throat> we could say natural harmony that is meant to be there, and and that. Uh, is demonstrated in how individuals uh, interact with one another. Uh, <clears throat> one of the foremost of qualities that we read about for Vaishnava is that, just like Krishna, he is suridam sarvabhutanam uh, bhoktaram jagyatapasam sarvaloka mahesaram suridam sarvabhutanam he's a well-wisher People commit suicides because they don't have friends in the material world. We see that in young people sometimes. They leave a letter, suicide letter. Nobody cares for me. I don't have any friends. <clears throat> so Vaishnavas are those who are meant to be exemplifying this quality of being well-wishers to others. Even if others do seemingly wrong to us, <clears throat> whatever happens is not um, by chance. Everything is ordained. Everything is happening, happening as it is meant to happen. We're living out our karmic reaction. Uh, the law of providence is is uh, is going on. <clears throat> so therefore, uh, Prabhupada makes this point actually at the end of the purport. Therefore, it is important for us uh, to spread this knowledge of Krishna consciousness in the world, so that people because actually without this basic knowledge of Krishna consciousness, people, uh, by remaining on the bodily platform, will continue simply to be uh, antagonistic. What is it? Uh, they will simply be at odds with one another. They will not uh, cooperate uh, rather, the opposite, they will, uh, so much of <clears throat> uh, bad relationships are there uh, in general society and between countries, etc., due to this basic lack of 
uh, understanding of Krishna consciousness. I'll just read this again here. Mm. <clears throat> As King Indra was standing by, he became ashamed of his own activities and fell down before King Prithu to touch his lotus feet. But Prithu Maharaj immediately embraced him in great ecstasy and gave up all envy against him for his having stolen the horse meant for the sacrifice. Yeah. The problem of un, of enviousness. Any comments on this? Maybe we can go to the previous verse yesterday's lesson a little bit if you have time. You want to read the hear the previous verse? Yeah, because yesterday we didn't oh. discuss. <laughs> because yesterday we just read the verse, yeah. Um that was Sri Prabhupada makes a good point in the purport that anything said by the Supreme Personality of God it should be taken as it is Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, for those who were not in class yesterday, or even for those who were in class, because <laughs> we uh, had a very short class. I'll just read the text again briefly. And actually, the purport is quite relatively short. We can read that again. So the text uh, yesterday was, The great sage Maitreya continued, My dear Vidura, in this way Maharaj Prithu, the conqueror of the entire world, accepted the instructions of the Supreme Personality of Godhead on his head. And yes, in the purport, Prabhupada underlines this important point. Um, One should accept the instructions of the Supreme Personality of Godhead by bowing down at his lotus feet, at the lotus feet of the Lord. This means that anything spoken by the Personality of Godhead should be taken as it is, Bhagavad Gita, as it is, Um, with great care and attention and with great respect. It is not our business to amend the words of the Supreme Personality of Godhead or make additions or alterations as it is, as it has, as it has become a custom for many so-called scholars and swamis who comment on the words of Bhagavad Gita. Here the practical example of how to accept the instructions of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is shown by Prithu Maharaj. This is the way to receive knowledge through the Parampara system. Well, there's many things, (laughs) different things could be said. Uh, Prabhupada, of course, here is referring to, you know, Hearing and receiving uh, <clears throat> without what is called malinterpretation. <clears throat> without, because very often people who would translate uh, Bhagavad Gita or, or other such literatures, they would they would um, <clears throat> make their own uh, comments. Uh, I mean, speculative comments without without. Uh, we could say knowledge of the parampara. That's one context, of course, which is, of course, uh, obvious in that whatever is uh, said by Krishna, because Krishna is giving it, uh, giving that knowledge, is per- being perfect knowledge, then we should accept it uh, in toto, you know, as it is. So, of course, when we take this in the context, for example, of Prabhupada's books, that 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 became 
and still is controversial. Uh, <clears throat> on the one hand, Srila Prabhupada, when he was physically present, did request and allow uh, that devotees edit, you know, to some extent, his, his uh, books. Uh, however, uh, there, there, there is this controversy whereby uh, uh, in some instances possibly uh, more editing, editing than necessary was done and, and therefore uh, this of course is, is, is not um, <coughs> desirable. Yeah, to, to especially start changing what was meant. In the early days, actually, devotees, even now, but more so in the beginning, knew nothing about Sanskrit, practically speaking. So when Prabhupada would be dictating on his dictaphone, then uh, whatever was Sanskrit, <laughs> devotees did not even include sometimes in the translation. You know, Or sometimes they... they, they they would not even uh, translate it. I mean, uh, write it, <clears throat> and, and 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 so therefore, uh, on many occasions, the, the um, wrong understanding, misunderstanding, um, was 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 printed. So some of these, uh, many of these, were 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 corrected, but. Um, <clears throat> So, did you have any particular point to make? I was awesome. more interested in the first part that we should take whatever Lord says with great care and attention in our life. We should take uh, instructions that are uh, coming directly from the Supreme Lord, Lord uh, very um, <clears throat> seriously, and, 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 and yes, yes. <clears throat> respectfully and, 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 and apply in, in our own lives. Of course, yes. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, so few people uh, get to receive this knowledge in the first place, get to even know that such knowledge exists, isn't it? Uh, and therefore, yes, it, it is just like, you know, we, we tend to take so many things for granted as devotees. We tend to take um, Bhagavatam class or, or whatever activities that we, we perform. I mean, the vast majority of people in the material world don't even know that such literatures exist. And some people, of course, many people do know, but they're so caught up in their material lives and they're so heavily under the modes of material nature. I mean, there's all kinds of situations that are there which prevent people, isn't it? The whole modern setup, actually, modern day uh, <clears throat> lifestyle. Even it's extremely difficult for our own devotees <laughs> who are caught up in this modern lifestyle, you know, having been in the Western countries especially. Of course, the whole Western mood is all-pervading. Uh, including here in India. And so it's, you know, uh, what used to be when people were not caught up in the kind of uh, what we call rat race that is existing today, people had more time, more time to think, more time uh, to interact, you know, more time to, to be with family members like that. And therefore, the, the, the quality of relationships were, were tend, tended to be uh, more meaningful, deeper. Um, and, and people were uh, <clears throat> more respectful to, to uh, such transcendental uh, literatures and instructions. And now it's, it, it's, um, <clears throat> It has changed uh, tremendously, and, and therefore, we can understand that this kind of lifestyle is 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 um, <clears throat> not at all conducive for for hearing and for uh, meditating and putting into practice these instructions that we receive 
from the Shastra. So your, your point is that we, we should be, as Krishna said, as Prabhupada is explaining here, be uh, uh, accepting such instructions as they are and, and, and try to apply them in our lives, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> if we do, then surely we change. We, we see the examples yesterday. Prabhu, both spoke Krishna Prabhu was telling their life experience how they change it. Okay. <laughs> when they receive the instructions. Correct. Like many people buy Bhagavad Gita, get Bhagavad Gita, but they don't open it for years. And Correct. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Especially it. life members. <laughs> It'll be in the box <laughs> for years, correct? Yeah. But once they receive the instruction, then their life changes. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <clears throat> okay. And close for now. Jai Shantarajana Bhagavatam Ki Jai Sri Prabhupada Ki Oh, the people in the this is the day we should